fairy tale finally come to an end, but there are so many epic fights that we can't forget. So today, let's take a look at the top 10 epic fairy tale moments in the final season. We start off the list with the moment when Natsu vs the Quarkos monster, a monster in ZF book. After time skip, Natsu gets stronger and stronger. He even can obtain a new flame magic, which is much more powerful than the original fire salamander magic. The giant monster was crushed into pieces with just one blow from Natsu. It seems that Natsu is the strongest monster in the END book. Next, we have the battle between Urja and Aju. Aju is the prince of the desert kingdom. He can turn everything into sand and control it. Aju is so powerful that Urja got trouble. She was about to be drived by him. Luckily, with extra shot from Biscard magic cannon, Aju was blown away and that was a chance for Urja to hit him with the strongest armor she got. That is the armor she used to defeat Minerva in the Grand Magic Game. We come to the next battle between Lessus and War. Lessus is half human, half thunder salamander. He is one of the strongest members in Fairy Tail. Because of the bent particle from Tatarus 5, he was really weak, but he still managed to fight in that bad condition. And luckily again, were accidentally released all the bent particles from Lesser's body, making him strong again. And finally, Lesser used Blood Thunder to blow him off. Next, Cheria vs. Demaria. Demaria is too strong with her time stop magic. Unfortunately for her, we have Untia can control time too. But Demaria is a god, so only God Slayer magic can defeat her. Cheria decides to give up all her magic to gain the strongest stage of a God Slayer and defeat Demaria. Cheria will never can use magic again. But in the final episode, we see that Chera began to use magic. That's really awesome, right? At the number 6, we have Nessu vs Jacob Lesio. Thanks to Germany and Lucy, Everyone was brought back from Jacob's pension. Macrobs throw Nessu and Jacob away so that Nessu cannot destroy the guild hall. He released Shakit that evaporated the lake and defeats Jacob with five dragon fists. As a number five, we have Grey vs Invel. Invel is a winter wizard and he is one of the 12 Springen. And Grey is just an ice wizard. He makes Grey feel cold for the first time ever and defeat both Grey and Juvia easily. But Juvia sacrificed her life for Grey. He went crazy and somehow managed to defeat Invel. Juvia's death made Grey stronger than ever. Through this fight, we know how much Grey loves Juvia. That's a great news from Groovy fans. At the number 4, we have Urja vs Irene. 
Arin is Ursa Mother and is the first person who is Dragon Slayer magic. Although Arin desired to be human again, she didn't hurt her little daughter Ursa. Ursa and Wendy tried so hard to beat Arin, but it was no use. In the end, Arin was about to kill Ursa. Her smile made Arin really happy and she decided to suicide. She is a great mother. If Irene was a dragon queen, then Urza is a fairy queen. At the number 3, we have Giddus vs August. Giddus is the most powerful wizard in fairy tale. He is Kana father too. But August is a wizard king. He knows all kinds of magic. However, Giddus found out the weakness in August's copy magic that he cannot copy the magic requiring tune such as Kanakas and Lucy Keys. Then he defeats August with gravity punch. At the number two, we have Natsu vs Zeref. At first, Natsu is a new flame magic to fight Zeref. But Happy prevented him because he didn't want Natsu to die. At the second battle, after absorbing Fairy Heart, Zeref is almost undefeatable. Natsu was killed with one hit from him. Luckily, Lucy rewrote the END book and revived Natsu. Natsu turned on Emotional Fire, the most powerful guy of flame magic, and burned Zeref down. And the number one battle, I think everyone know what it is. Yes, that is Natsu vs Agnologia. Agnologia is the strongest dragon in the world and nobody can defeat him. He can eat every kind of magic, even the time drift. But that is a chance to defeat Agnologia. In the real world, Lucy seal Agnologia's body with fairy sphere, making his body in the time drift freeze. Natsu absorbs all the seven dragon slayer magic and blow the final punch to Agnologia, crushing him into pieces. The Spriggan is really touched, but with the power of friendship, love, and teammate, Fairytale definitely can defeat any enemy no matter how strong it is. So what is your favorite battle? Just comment below to let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my channel. Thank you.